I never really knew about Poland as a country. I just heard about it, heard it was really cold, until I got accepted into medical school when I moved to Poland in 2015. And when I noticed, when I first got there, it wasn't so many blacks. I was one of the few African Americans that lived probably in the country, along with a few others in my medical school incoming class. But by the time 2017, 2018 came, I saw a flux of African immigrants immigrants, most notably coming from Zimbabwe. At this time, Zimbabweans dominated the scene as far as the entertainment, stores, as far as the African cultural experience, even beating out that of Nigerians in Poland. And then I started seeing a lot of Ethiopians, a lot of Congolese all across the country. But then came some other issues with African immigrants in the country. People just didn't want them there. Now stop the show. It's not just African immigrants. Polish people are very particular about everybody because of their unique history in Europe. That's for another video. Polish people can be very suspicious of anybody, Irish, Germans, Blacks, Arabs, especially those people from Muslim countries. But. There's even been a referendum about this and Polish people talked about the fact that they were going to vote against immigration into Poland. Poland's right wing government came up with the idea of the referendum this summer. It asks four questions. Whether Poles want to retire later, see their government sell off state assets and pull down the border fence with Belarus. But the fourth question on migration is by far the most controversial. It's an issue the ruling Law and Justice Party knows could energize its core voters. The language is loaded and focuses on the EU's new migration pact, which asks member states to share the burden of illegal migration. The question asks, do you support the admission of thousands of illegal immigrants from the Middle East and Africa? in accordance with the forced relocation mechanism imposed by the European bureaucracy. To gain another perspective, I went to Warsaw to interview members of the public. There's a referendum on illegal migration coming up in Poland next week. What do you think about that? Uh, that's just for uh, the party that uh, leads uh, now. They let a lot of uh, immigrants from Africa and from Asia to come to Poland. Are you afraid of immigrants coming to Poland? Uh, you know. I speak to a lot of people uh, who uh, went to Germany, to uh, France, to Sweden, and they said, really, that is a big problem uh, with immigrants. Will you be voting in the referendum on illegal migration? No. Why not? Because uh, the questions proposed in that referendum are ridiculous. You're against illegal immigration? Who is not? You did hear that, right? Africans don't want to really merge themselves into the culture, which I don't know how true that is because a lot of Africans are learning to speak Polish. Polish is a very hard language. It's like 27 different ways you can say no, or in the United States is not that many ways to say no, but no. But let me get to the point of the video. There's a situation that's going on right now in Katowice, which is in the Silesian province of Poland. And in Katowice, an African brother decided to go into the lake. Now, it's no problem that he went into the lake. He went into the lake naked. That might be a problem because this is a lake that kids go to. But not only did he do that, the brother literally took a dump in the lake. Polish people are furious. Now, while he was doing that, somebody recorded him and posted the video up on Facebook. We can't play the video of what he was actually doing in the lake because he was naked. But I do want you to read some of the hostile comments coming from people from Poland. Now, most of this was written in Polish. I had to translate it to English. OK, so if it doesn't make a lot of sense or if the words are kind of misplaced, it's because the organization of Polish language is different than English. But here's the best that it sounds like English. This person says because it's Katowice where left wingers live strong in the mouth. And that's what they wanted by themselves. Another person goes, and then the Germans tell us that the fish suffocates and it's the engineer who arranges them. Damn, but Europe will be enriched in a few years. I'm guessing what he's talking about that, you know, these immigrants are gonna destroy Europe within a few years, right? 
um, you see this. What's up with that? Warsaw is throwing into the fistula seriously. This is the beginning of what awaits us. I guess what this probably means, Warsaw is the capital of Poland, is that, you know, Warsaw decided to do this and let these African immigrants into uh, our country. And now our country is going to turn into a piece of crap. And this is just the beginning of the end, right? You see this and we welcome a smiling free Poland. Basically, we're allowing these people to come in here and we're smiling while they're crapping in our water. This other person goes, snipers needed immediately, right? And this person actually means that probably. The lady goes, we should have taken part in the referendum. The referendum to keep these immigrants out. As liberals say, we will introduce so-called cultural enrichment. Now this one is kind of harsh. Um, we're gonna have to blur some of this. This guy, Gregor's Skutnik. I honestly don't understand the outrage. Most of you did not take part in the referendum. You didn't say a firm no. That's why there are, and there will be thousands of them, even millions of these animals. This video is going viral. Shows our incapability to these behaviors. Before October 15th, it was somehow better, but now it's civilization. This reservoir is probably a drinking water intake. We smile at each other and the black people laugh at us. So now, with this statement, this one error that this African brother made is basically going to be like the way that this guy sees it, all the blacks are to blame for this one person's mistake, okay? Imminent efforts are integrating. You want it, so you got it. This other person goes, shame on men with balls who will clean up these people. Kids are having fun on the beach dam. React because in a few years, they will start graping your children and it will be too late to react. Now, you know, guys, I don't even live in Poland anymore. I'm living in Uganda and pretty much have forgotten about my European life and residence and all of that stuff. I'm hearing about this in Uganda. And knowing what I know about living in Europe or living in Poland, I can tell you that a lot of Polish people that see this are going to not just judge, you know, that particular single African brother for doing that. They're gonna judge all the blacks. That's how it was when I was there. You know, when somebody would make a mistake or do something, and you would get some people driving by, hey, they getting at everybody, not just this one person. And I gotta talk about the African brother who actually did this, okay? Now, I can't be a hypocrite, come on my page, talk about migrants who go out and do silly things in America, and then defend what this guy did. I actually saw it. It was disgusting, okay? I hate to say it, it was disgusting. And I just wanna tell all people, no matter where you are, when you are a black person and you live in somebody's country, you need to be on your best behavior. That includes blacks going back to Africa. I'm in Uganda right now, and I gotta be on my best behavior. Although I'm black, although I might be able to get away with some stuff, I can never go out there and do nothing like that. Why? Because I represent my particular group wherever I go good or bad and it looks bad on the community if i go out there and do something bad now as far as the african brothers that go out here and you go out here to these white countries you go into poland you go into italy you go out there and you do something stupid like that and something that's silly like this you don't just mess it up for yourself you mess it up for all the blacks that's there Trust me, I know, I used to be in Poland. When well, you know, something, somebody would you know do something, the whole community would have to suffer behind this one person, even though it's not right. But at that point, nobody wants to hear, oh, you guys are discriminating against us. Oh, you guys are racist. That one heinous thing can cost everybody. And that's what you gotta look at. If I go out here and do something crazy in Uganda, it ain't gonna be just that single black American. Uh, people gonna be like, oh, all black Americans. Just like how we stereotype the migrants in the United States. When If, if a migrant goes out there and hurts a, a, a sister in Chicago, New York City, ain't nobody trying to say, well, they all ain't like that. Even though that's true, nobody wants to admit that. No one's gonna talk like that. So the African brothers and sisters that's out there in these places and you're somewhere else and you do something silly, you're gonna cost opportunities, not even for yourself, but for the other good African brothers and sisters who don't take part in that. Also, if you, knew, you need to use the restroom, it may be okay for you to take a crap in the water maybe wherever you're from i'm not sure in the world 
I don't want to say that. But if you're not sure, you need to ask somebody. You should ask somebody, is it okay for me to go out here naked? It might be okay for you to go out there naked where you're from. But in Europe or another place, no, ask people. And then also people from the black community, please educate your people when they come to Europe or when they come to Qatar or when they come to Dubai about what is to come and how people in those places are not playing with you. You know, there's stories all the time we receive from some brother or sister in Dubai and the African diaspora that find themselves in big troubles if it's not overstaying their visas or whatever else in those places. OK, and then you got to understand, too, if you get in trouble in these places, your embassy is not that strong. That's another thing that people don't realize. And I hate to bring that up, but a lot of African embassies are just not strong there to get you out of trouble. This ain't America where you can cry white supremacy. You know, it's a homogeneous population out there in Poland. Folks not trying to hear. When you go to some place that's not your home, whatever you do back at home that's bad, you need to keep it there. Because also I wanted to say one last thing. One of the things that we don't really talk about is that people can be violent too. And one person can do something. And again, the whole group can suffer. I've seen people get jumped in Poland, which is one of the reasons why when I was there, shout out to Brother Nee at our Big Bay, we used to host our own little African nights, you know, because in Poland, everybody's black. So all the blacks run together. Zimbabweans for the most part, Nigerians, at least when I was there, Congolese, you know, we would all hang out together. And uh, people would just target you. Don't matter. You ain't gonna do, do anything wrong. And you know, cause you're, you're in their country. So we gotta respect ourselves as the black world. When we go to people's countries and we're living there, working there, all right? I don't care where you at. I wanna preface that. Please don't make this kind of mistake. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Dude Jackson. Back at it again with another episode here on Kanganda. I'm out.